in this lesson we will discuss about area plots and here I have written some information that first of all we have to explore data sets with pandas then we will download and prepare the data after that with the help of matplotlib we will visualize our data and will work on our area plots so first of all we have to import two libraries import numpy as np import pandas as pd and execute it when i will run it it will execute it successfully so then because our excel file is the name of excel file is immigration to canada so here i have written that download and import our primary canadian immigration data set using pandas read underscore excel so this is the syntax to install after that if you want that excel rd is there then you have to use the print function and print it yes it is there right next step is we will give some name to our data frame as this is the immigration to canada file so i said can underscore m means canadian immigration pd pandas dot read underscore excel because this is our excel file if you have a csv file then you have to write down read underscore csv and then in quotation in parenthesis you have to provide the path where you have saved your file and see the extension is excel x excel sx because this is the excel file and i have written r here i will show you what will happen if i will remove this r from here execute it you will get the unicode error in order to avoid this unicode error you have to write down only r here so it is removed the error has gone now if you want to check whether your data frame is here imported here properly or not you can use the head function when i will execute it you will see all our columns are here and system has generated the index which starts from zero as we did not assign any index index to the system so here we have 43 columns and five rows because dot head function will give us five if we will not assign any number if you want to check the shape shape means dimensions how many records you have then you have to use the shape function with your data frame name it means we have 179 records means 179 different countries which migrated to canada from 1980 to 9 to 2013 and 43 column now i will show you that first of all we have to clean our data in order to make the area plot or any kind of plot because these are the columns which we do not want these are the unnecessary column we want to drop it so if uh, for dropping you have to use the dot drop method with your data frame name and in a square bracket in quotation write down all the names of the columns which you do not want or you want to delete separated by comma right so see i will show you area this region these are these are the columns here area reg division right so we do not want these that is why we are going to remove excess is equal to one means we are removing columns if you want to remove rows that excess is equal to zero in place is equal to true means that these columns will permanently drop from your database now if you want to check i can check only one record so you can write down here i said five okay so if i will delete it you will get five see now these columns are not in our database my second requirement is rename some column as see od name i will show you here first right this is the od name and if i will write down country then it will be more suitable right same here these are the area name if i say these are the continent these are more suitable so we yes we can rename the co column so you have to write down your data frame name dot rename function and use the dictionary in curly braces od your old name in quotation then then you have to write down colon and whatever name you want to give to a new column i said country area name is the old name i said continent reg name i, sh I said region in place is equal to true means permanently right this change will be permanently to your database now see this is country this is continent this is region it looks much better compared to the previous data frame it means that we can drop as well as we can rename the columns for consistency ensure that all column labels of type is string see let's examine the types of the column label 
all how you have to write down if you want to check that all columns have the same data type all instance and here column string for columns in and your data frame name and we are going to apply on columns when I will run it so it will give you the answer in the boolean means true and false 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 means no our all columns do not have the string data type if you want to check the data type to make sure that whether this false is right or not so you can use d types and here see these are the objects object means a string data type and these are integers years are integers these are not same that is why our output is false now if you want to make all columns data type same then you have to write down this list and in map string and these two parameters right now i am going to check again see this this syntax i have written here again to check and now my answer is true yes now we have changed all our data types to a string our fourth question is set the country name as index now since if we will not assign any index system will generate 0 1 2 3 and so on as I have shown you but yes you can make your own index by using set underscore index method and in parenthesis which column you want to make an index I said country again in place is equal to true means permanently in our data frame our country column will be index if you want to check yes see here now these are our all columns which are on different level country is here it means now instead of 0 1 2 3 we have country and these a our are these are our index now add the total column see if i say how many people for what is the first country afghanistan how many total total people came from afghanistan from 20 uh, um, 1980 to 2013 we do not have any total column here see here 2013 we do not know right so if, if you want you can add the total column at the end so what is the syntax just write down after your data frame name what should be the name of your new column and then you have to use dot sum function access is equal to one means we are going to add column at the in the column so here see if i will show you now we have a total so if someone asks you okay how many from uh, Afghanistan we can say 58,639 from 1980 to 2013 how many from Albania 15,699 people came from Albania to Canada from these years and only six peoples from the other country and so on right okay finally this is one of the most important thing keep in mind this years will use throughout this course let's create a list of years from 1980 to 2013 right so years instead of writing all this again and again we will give some name to this and i said years right whenever i will say throughout this course years it means this you have to memorize this because we will use so many times list and map right a string range and our range is from 1980 last year is 2013 that is why we have to write down one more extra year to have 14 if i will end it by uh, this is your job now you have to try if i will make it 13 and i will run it the output will start from 1980 to 2012 i need till 2013 that is why i have to give this range 1980 to 2014 and when i will run this years so see it will start the data type is a string these are because these are in the quotation and we have changed this from integer to a string and see it ends at 2013 now most of the cleaning is done now is the visualize data and we will visualize with the help of matplotlib for matplotlib you have to first import matplotlib as mpl import matplotlib.py plot as plt and this is the magic function magic function is starts with the percent sign means when we make some graph or anything it will be happen on the, on the same window and with the pi plot we can make title labels i will show you and this is your optional for the uh, for your style when i will execute it here i said the version and it will show you the matplotlib version is 2.0.2 it's 
imported successfully now our area plots our topic is there we created a line plot that visualized the top five countries that contributed the most immigrants to canada from 1980 to 2013 with a little modification to the code we can visualize this plot as the cumulative plot which is called the stacked line plot or the area plot if someone will ask you what is area plot what is the stack plot both are same so how do you have to write down okay first you have to for i said for top five countries then you have to use sort underscore values right and in which column we are going to apply this sort function total column which just we added total column ascending is equal to false right so it will be in the descending order excess is equal to zero because our countries are on the uh, row wise in place is equal to true same thing permanent change will happen get the top from here you can see the top five countries and you have to take the transpose here as well when i will run it so you will see our output a very nice graph right this one so what i have written here area plots are stacked by default and to produce a stacked area plot each column must be either all positive or all negative values any na and means missing values will default it to zero if you do not have any values in any column it will consider zero to produce an unstacked plot right unstacked plot what you have to do here see here what i have written same things index and then map integer let's change the index values of this top five country to integer for plotting and when i will run it so you will see here this is our graph area graph right and this will first is pakistan this is the stacked graph this is blue purple and so on now same thing here now i say stacked is equal to false this is a stacked right but now if you want unstacked i will show you what is the difference between stacked and unstacked this is a stack this part represent pakistan and these are the different countries contributed uh, contributed to immigration to canada now i said my stacked is equal to false and everything is same exactly same coding you can see from here to here when i will execute it the output is the unstacked see this one is the pakistan and then we have this right stacked this is stacked and this is unstacked so you can see the difference between them clearly and one of the most important thing of unstacked is that the transparency by default is 0.5 means see stacked this is dark this is dark but this one is not dark this is light shade means the transparency of unstacked is by default 0.5 i have mentioned here but if you want you can change the transparency alpha it says alpha means the transparency alpha is equal to 0.2 if i say alpha is equal to 0.5 by default if you will not assign it will consider 0.5 the range of this alpha is between 0 to 1 if i will say 1 it will be dark stacked is equal to false figure size you can increase or decrease your graph width and height when i will run it you will see unstacked chart and it will be too light because our transparency is too low if you want if i will show you Uh, make it eight, and here we will make it ten by ten. Execute it, and it, you will see the color will be dark. Yes, the color is dark. And again, this is unstacked. So I hope the difference is clear to you. What is stacked or unstacked? Two types of plotting. Now there are two types of plotting. In uh, one is called the scripting layer. which is the procedural method and we are doing so far the second one is the artist layer and the plotting using the uh, artist layer sorry as i have mentioned that in matplotlib there are three uh, there are three layers you can see right artist layer 
scripting layer and backend layer. So, so far we have learned scripting layer and I will show you how to make the graph using the artist layer. So, this one I have written for the scripting. You can use PLT, right? In a scripting layer, we use PLT and for the artist layer, we will use set and we will use also the axis. So, what is the meaning of it? So, if you will read this very slowly after explaining, each and every point will be clear to you. Right here I say option number one which is the scripting. This is what we have been using so far. Plot and kind is equal to area, alpha, whatever is the transparency, right? This is for unstacked figure size and then plt dot title label and so on. Now is the artist. Second method, you can use axis instance of your current plot and store it in the variable ax, right? How? I will show you in the coding, right? And ax dot set underscore x label instead of plt dot x label we will use ax dot set underscore x label otherwise all things are more or less same so this is option two preferred option with more flexibility so see ax is equal to whatever is your data frame name and then plot kind is equal to area alpha is equal to 0 0.040 and then figure size is it will be too big right i will make it small 25 is too big and this one I will make it 10. Here this is the title and in artist layer you have to choose ax because this is, is equal to ax. ax dot set underscore title, ax dot set underscore y label, ax dot set underscore x label. When I will run it so you will see the our unstacked area chart. Right, a minor difference between a scripting layer and the artist layer. Use the scripting layer to create a stacked area plot of the five countries that contributed to least. Now I recommend you to pause this video here, write down your coding because when you will involve, you will learn more. After that, you can tally your coding with my mind and in this way you will learn. But here I will show you what you have to do. I said use the transparency of 0.65. So least, right? So far we did the top five countries. Now I said least. So you have to use dot tail function. If you will not write down five here, dot tail and these are, these are blank right in head. These are blank. It will give you the top, sorry, bottom bottom five so it should be tail we will make it tail here right okay these are the tail and then we have to take the transpose when we will run it now our countries and these are our columns transpose means we convert rows into columns and this is our coding see this is our data frame name dot index and see map is equal to integer what comment i have written here let's change the index value of df underscore least to type integer for plotting and then same thing kind is equal to area alpha is equal to 0.65 whatever you want you can change this is the figure size width and height and then plt 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 it means this is the scripting layer when i will run it so you will see the output is there right these are the trend and now get the five countries with the least contribution all together see here what i did I added only few lines here or only to show you that everything whatever we did here you can write down in one box as well in one cell I mean right same output you will get. Now the question is use the artist layer to create the unstacked area plot of the five countries that contributed the least to immigration to Canada use transparency 0.75 everything is same what you have to do only you have to use ax axis and set underscore title set underscore viable this is called the artist layer first of all you have to do 
here this is the top five how you can sorry bottom five how you can check the bottom five here you have to take the transpose if you want you can write down all this coding in separate cell and run and check it right but if you want you can write down all in one cell it will give you the same output and this is the artist layer i will show you the comment as well because when you will do your practice it will be easy for you when i will execute it so you will see the output see the figure is too big because it was 25 by 10 i think or 15 right so i hope the area chart stack chart or on stack chart is clear to you please practice it see you in the next lesson and thank you